so this is the sales data uh, first one is the order date then is region then representative item units unit cost and units multiplied by unit cost is total so this is the sales data uh, according to uh, various orders right so let's try chat gpt and see that we can do uh, anything with this data so first of all i have converted it into a csv file you can convert it into uh, using file then export then change file type then here is csv if you click here you will get a csv file based on the excel data so i have uh, just copied this csv data and pasted it here after this i have instructed it to convert the data into a table format so you can see here it has converted in this data into a table format and then uh, then the next instruction is give value count of data set using rep column if you see this is a rep column and here are uh, various representative that is salesperson first one is jardin then jill then sobino jones etc so based on this value count this is a small py uh, python code using pandas library that help us to count the data uh, for each representative and then we will get the uh, count of the each representative that like jones has occurred eight times andrews has done two times so jones is the uh, best salesperson according to this data next we will group the unit cost into three groups of high medium and low price range so how to do that uh, we will create a function that takes a value of unit cost and returns high medium or low based on set range use the apply method to apply this function to each value of unit cost in the data frame use the group by method to group the data frame by the new column so here is a python code here are two breakpoints first one is 0 to 5 will be termed as low 5 to 15 will be termed as medium and above 15 it is high so based on this cost range we will group this uh, group by the cost range and we will print the size of each, each cost range first one is a high that is 5 uh, that means the 5 records are falling into the high category and 60 records in mid low category and 34 records in medium category then we will try to encode this data set so let's see what uh, chat gpt suggests uh, so there are uh, several methods to encode this data first one is the one hot encoding second is ordinal encoding third one is the binary encoding though for the uh, uh, one hot encoding and uh, for how to use this one hot encoding on the region rep and item column using the pandas library so here is the code for that okay and um, it has also suggested that it's important to note that one hot encoding can lead to high dimensionality if we have many categorical variables or many categories in a categorical variable it's important to consider the cost benefit of one hot coding one hot encoding before applying it then the next task is uh, build a model to predict using the unit cost column as target class so we will use scikit-learn library for this so there are three steps to do, do that first one is just split the data set into training and testing sets you can use the train test split function for the from the sql learn model selection then we will select the features that will be used to predict the target class in this case the features would be all columns except the unit cost column and then the select the algorithm you want to use uh, to build your model there are many algorithms like linear regression decision trees random forest we will see later why linear regression is uh, uh, appropriate for this data set so here is the python code using the scikit-learn library first we will read the csv data then we will um, drop this unit cost column that is our target class then we will uh, take the unit cost that is the target class in a y variable then we will split this data in training and testing data set here the test set is 0 0.2 that means that training data is 80% of the data and testing data is a 20% of data then model is linear regression we will fit this model to train this model and then finally we will predict this using the testing data set so to evaluate this model we will use mean squared error we can use other methods also 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल रूट मीन स्क्वायर एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज द आर स्क्वायर so to evaluate the model you can you predict the score that uh, what accuracy the model is giving to you and then finally i have asked is to evaluate the model so there are three methods to evaluate the model first one is a mean squared error root mean squared error and r squared they uh, it has given a uh, code for all these three methods the first one is mean squared error we can use this uh, function to do that and root mean squared error we can use just uh, uh, root it and just Uh, to the power point five. That means uh, we will uh, put a root over uh, over our answer. And finally, the method is the R squared method. Uh, that is R two is equal to R two score y test y test. So also in this case, since unit cost is a continuous variable, using regression algorithms such as linear regression would be appropriate. But it's important to keep in mind that for classification, uh, we can use other methods also. so this is the uh, analysis of data analysis of this data set uh, of the sales record of um, uh, the sample data set uh, it is easily available on the internet you can download it and play around it and if you find any other uh, uh, exciting results you can share on the comment section thanks for watching